Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well today. If you're into aviation, military tech, or just curious about the latest in global defense, you're in the right place. Because today, we're taking a closer look at one of China's most iconic fighter jets, the Shenyang J-11. The Shenyang J-11 is a twin-engine, all-weather air superiority fighter developed by China, and its story is as interesting as the jet itself. To understand the J-11, we have to go back to the 1990s, when China was working to modernize its air force after decades of flying outdated aircraft. They needed a capable fourth-generation fighter, and instead of starting completely from scratch, China entered into a deal with Russia to produce the Sukhoi Su-27 under license. This deal was a turning point. It allowed Chinese engineers to study one of the most advanced Soviet fighters at the time and eventually evolve it into something more domestically controlled. The result was the J-11. Built by the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, the J-11 was initially a near clone of the Su-27 using Russian parts and engines. But over time, China began replacing these with locally made components, gradually shifting the design into something uniquely Chinese. That transition marked a significant moment in China's defense industry, not just copying, but innovating. Performance-wise, the J-11 is no slouch. It's powered by two turbofan engines, originally Russian-made AL-31Fs, but later models such as the J-11B use Chinese WS-10 engines. The jet can reach speeds of around Mach 2.35, and it has a combat radius of over 1,500 kilometers. That gives it impressive reach and staying power in a regional conflict scenario, especially in the skies over the South China Sea, Taiwan Strait, or even near disputed borders with India. What makes the J-11 particularly interesting is how it's evolved. The J-11B, one of its more advanced variants, incorporates Chinese radar systems, avionics, electronic warfare suites, and a range of domestically produced air-to-air -air missiles. This includes weapons like the PL-12 and PL-15, which are beyond visual range missiles designed to compete with some of the best systems used by NATO or the US military. Some defense analysts have called the J-11 a transitional platform, a bridge between China's older Soviet-style jets and its newer stealth fighters like the J-20. And that's a fair way to look at it. The J-11 helped train a generation of Chinese pilots in advanced aerial combat, and it gave China a platform to experiment on, improve, and innovate from. Even though it's not stealthy like fifth-generation fighters, the J-11's upgrades have kept it relevant, especially when paired with advanced radar support from airborne warning systems. Of course, there's been controversy too. Russia has accused China of copying its technology beyond the scope of the original license agreement, especially when it comes to the J-11B. Despite diplomatic friction, China has continued to produce and upgrade the aircraft independently. Today, the J-11 continues to serve as a backbone fighter in the People's Liberation Army Air Force. It flies alongside other advanced jets in China's growing fleet, but its role as a dependable, capable, multi-role fighter remains strong. So is the Shenyang J-11 a copycat? Or is it a symbol of China's aerospace progress? Honestly, it's a bit of both. It started as a copy, but it's grown into something much more. In a region where air superiority is a critical factor in strategic balance, the J-11 continues to be a major player. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't. Forget to like, comment and subscribe for more content like this. Let me know in the comments what jet or defense system you'd like us to cover next. Until next time, stay safe and stay curious.